Yo folks, I'm HP and this is Dr. Pink. And today's topic is a rock ballad in 6-8. So let's get started. First gonna play how it should sound more or less. Then you get some explanations how you can do it the easy way. So let's get dramatic. Yeah, and so on. Good, so let's get started. First sound settings, of course. You already heard it. A whole bottle, not bottle, bundle of delay. This is a ping pong delay. Ping pong means it goes from left to right. And only use ping pong delay if you work with stereo. Now switch it off. So, and the, the temp of the delay is um, as you can hear uh, set on the six eight so you can't six eight one two three one two three so one two three one where's the delay where's the delay it's gone oh here here one two three one two three one two three one two three it's set of the tempo of the song with um feedback like on 40 percent and uh, the delay um, mixture is like 12% on my setting here. Good. The track is in C minor, so we're playing C minor scale. So now let's get on the close view to start on. All right, so um, basically uh, the track is in C minor, so we're playing C minor scale. There will be this one here. <laughs> What I did, I now switched to the next position. We can continue from here. So it went over the scale and just moved up in the highest position which I played. So basically it's the pattern down here. That's the normal pattern. But uh, we don't... I mean, if you want to really get the maximum out of your melodic expression, you also use different positions. So this is the normal position. This will be the normal position here, C minor. This one here. Normal C minor. Good. So these are the main positions. Now, but they are not really so important because since we're playing our mel melodic phrases, uh, it's more or less pretty easy stuff, which even beginners among you can play. But the expression uh, which is used is a little bit tricky on 6-8 and on 6-8 but because it's very slow. And if you want to have it really sounding cool, I mean, if I don't do anything without any effects, it doesn't really sound nice. I'm going to play now without any effects that you hear the difference. That 
was already an effect. <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah. Um, so see, when you just play it plain, the melody will be start on the 8, 6, uh, 4. Uh, then it's pretty um, boring. But now comes the trick, and that's the, the part of the lesson today. We add the, the, the delay, and now we learn to work with the delay in 6, 8. So... Can you hear the whole bond of delay now? With, without any sound, it sounds, you think, oh my god, it's too much. But in the sound itself, it makes the sound very, very wide. But you need to follow a few instructions. Um, first of all, you need to play very precise. Um, so it's one, two, three, da, 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 da. One, two, three, da, 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 da. One, two, three. And that's the speed of the uh, your timing. Da, 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 da. You can play any melodic phrase. It doesn't really matter with a whole bunch of delay. But of course, in a, in a ballad, we don't play all the time. We, we need to let the melody breathe and therefore the delay is very important to give that aftertouch. So, how we go give the aftertouch? First of all, um, the expression is very important. When I play, this is the main melody note here in the 8th fret. But I don't, just, I, just don't, I don't play just like this, I make this kind of a hammer, see? And then I make it a vibrato. And accelerate to the ending of the tone, and the tone when the tone stops is the maximum acceleration, and um, it has to be on timing because then, when you stop, then the delay comes, and if you just don't stop on timing, the delay is not on the right timing spot. <laughs> See how the delay comes. And uh, to give this extra kick for the delay, I'm going to accelerate, then pull it away. See, and that gives the, the effect which you want. Especially in the situation, this is only a guitar on the backing track. By the way, the backing track, um, the link is added in the description. Um, yeah. That's the main thing. On the ending notes, you accelerate the vibrator till the maximum, then you pull away or stop on timing, and then you have what you want. Now let's come to the melody, the main melody. So this is the main melody, which is played here 8, 6, 4, you know, 5, and then you... Oops! So, we play the melody first like this, then comes the second part, it's like... basically pentatonic lick bending here in the 11th bending and then again I give an extra punch first you go up and then second time you come up and then sw switch to vibrate and then stop 
Then you have the maximum expression. And what I did is played a little legato run out of it. So out of it, release, pull off. And now I don't detect the strings at all. Pretty easy one. Basically it's like this. Attack first. See? Attacking. Let's be fair. And to make an exit punch, you do the same thing again on the lower bending. Very cool. So, first thing is just prelude. <laughs> now it starts. Okay, now on the second part, you play the same melody again, but in the high position. Now it's a little bit tricky, I think my guitar is a bit out of tune. Yeah. Same thing again, but now in high position, now we do it with the bending. It's hidden at 13. Now it's again the same trick. First bending then go back and come back again and then come in with the vibrator so go up and release pull off see and then go with the melody and then play the melody up here 13 11 13. You can also make variations on the melody. It should not be always the same thing, but um, to start, it's pretty good to do this. <coughs> sorry, the same thing again. What you can do is add some additional uh, drama. <laughs> With wow, it's pretty cool. The cool thing is on, on um, high notes, uh, you don't need to play a lot of notes, but if you really want to have a dramatic melody line, I do a lot of like slides. Oops, there seems some um, bob on it. Still. So, and, and I always do this little hammer, see? Why doesn't this stupid uh, robot switch off? Oh no, it's gone. See? This little hammer. And this way you can make, it's very hot in here today, my goodness, like 32 degrees outside, Celsius. And, um, I have a little fan here, <laughs> maybe I'll show it afterwards. 
uh, and that is not really cooling me up. <laughs> so. And this way you can, so you can move around the melody then. See, that's the way it works. What also is pretty essential is um, on the high notes you give more vibrator than on the low notes. And the problem is on the high string you only have one direction because if you make it on, on two directions the uh, <laughs> fretboard is finished. So. Yeah, that's basically how the cookie crumbles um, on this one. And then you can add any kind of um, of um, lead guitar uh, ideas working around the melody. Just remember, in six it's one, two, three, one, two, three. One. And if you want to play double time in six eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, then you play. So normal timing is one, two, three, two, two, three. And double time is one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, six, six stalls. It's very cool. Then you play runs. See? That's more or less how it works. Um, the point is on the 6-8 bell at. Um, you don't need to play so much, but do the little tricks I showed you. I mean, I play, I showed you now this one melody line, but you can do it on any melody line, of course. Then add like some cool legato runs or sexto runs. You can play just the normal scale. In sextos, so one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And the main thing is that you end up on a good note. And that's how it works. So let's give it a shot. Um, how it really works. And just make some explanations. So now it starts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, these were a few ideas how to play uh, 
rock by adding 6 8. Main thing is timing, um, pres really precise timing makes the big difference. Don't play too many notes. It's really, I mean, the, li the little variations on the melody make the difference. Like, main melody will. Then maybe next time you, you start like. Next time you make a little variation on the starting point, and these little variations make the whole thing um, pretty compact and cool and emotional. Yeah, what shall I say now? It's too hot today. Um, I stop now. <laughs> and um, enjoy this lesson. See you next time. Yeah, yeah.